Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out yet another talent rework. It seems like they have done so many talent reworks this year in Season 6. They're just all over the place and a lot of them are to supports and this one is no exception. It's another support talent rework and it's actually to one of the most powerful supports in the game, Lilith. So she got a talent rework to Murderous Intent and in my opinion it's just straight up better than the old Murderous Intent. So what's up with this new talent? Well, the old version of Murderous Intent made your projectiles smaller, and it also allowed your projectiles to pierce and get more damage for each person they pierce through exactly the same way as Scorch Fernando. I never really understood why it made your projectiles smaller, because it seems counterintuitive if you want to pierce. But uh, yeah, that old talent, Eva Mojo decided, was way too inconsistent and just weird. And so they decided... Hey, let's rework it, and let's give it this really cool new effect instead. So, the new Murderous Intent now makes it so, when you hit an enemy with your primary shot, right, your weapon, uh, while they're affected by the Hex or the Swarm, it will increase your movement and attack speed by 10% for 4 seconds. And this stacks on itself up to 3 times, so you can get up to 30% movement and attack speed for 4 seconds, and then at that point it'll just refresh as long as you keep hitting somebody. So this lets her ramp up her damage, kind of like Furia. Uh, it's actually rare that we see a fire rate increase talent like this, uh, and, and so it's really unique, actually. It's really cool. And this definitely seems a lot more useful than the old Murderous Intent. It also no longer uh, makes your projectiles smaller, so it's easier to hit your weapon shots, too. You don't have that weirdness with the different projectile size. So let's check this out. I do have a test build for this talent, which I want to show off as sort of a damage build. You will still see plenty of those high skill Lilith mains playing this talent as the healing talent, just for the sheer fact that you still can range to play your swarms and you don't incur a damage debuff like Curse of the Cord gives you. Because Lilith is just that strong of a healer in base kit, you don't actually really need Curse of the Cord if you know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, you will still see a lot of that. But I want to test the talent today as a damage talent. So we've got Blood Cannon, of course. We've got Wings of Terror for the extra movement. We've got Blood Sense and Unholy Flight as our level 1 fillers. But the main card in this build that is, uh, I guess, unique is Tainted Form, which gives us extra max health when hitting a marked enemy. And that's because this talent encourages you to hex your enemies, which is something you don't normally do with Lilith. Normally, uh, even if you're playing Maelstrom of Carnage as the damage play style, uh, you just hex a teammate and then you go, right? Because hexing a teammate will give you more life regen, it'll help you stay alive better. And so because this talent encourages, uh, encourages you to hex the enemies, the thought process I have is, okay, well, uh, I want to make sure I'm able to heal myself while I'm shooting the enemies. I better give myself that lifesteal. And it's uh, not even lifesteal. Lifesteal on Lilith is kind of weak because she doesn't do that much like single target DPS with her weapon. This is uh, regenerating max health when hitting a marked enemy. It's a percentage of your health, so it's actually really good. Um, so yeah, basically, we can just hex the Fernando here. And then, bam, bam, bam. And you can see it ramp up. And now we're shooting really quickly. And it also flies in the swarm. So there's a swarm on Ying. And we still have those stacks going. We are just killing everything really quickly here. You also regenerate your ammo when you shoot someone who's in the swarm like that. So, yeah. Uh, it's really good. <laughs> uh, you can just continuously keep shooting people. And this is a massive boost to your self-sustain. Which is really, really nice. Right? We can just keep Double deploying kill. all of this wonderful stuff. Wa-bam, wa-bam, wa-bam. You get all that lifesteal from the card. I don't even have a hex on anybody. I'm just regening based off the card. I can put the hex on Ying. Continue to heal myself. There we go. Throw another swarm out. On paper, this seems pretty good. But of course, in practice, it is going to be a lot harder to maintain that attack speed. So that's what we're going to test today. We're going to play this as a damage playstyle. Through and through. Pure damage playstyle. In a real match. And we're going to see if it's really actually that good as a damage playstyle, or if this talent is still just relegated to, you know, making it so you don't incur a damage debuff as your main healer playstyle, because <laughs> Murderous Intent has always been a healing talent. <laughs> so goofy. Lilith has a really weird dynamic, but, um, yeah, that's what we're going to test today. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Tis the season! All right, well, we lucked out, and we ended up getting an Io on the team, so I'm not forced to be the solo support and play this talent as a damage playstyle. That'd be really awkward. But I am looking at that team comp, and I am a little bit concerned, because Koga 
can cleanse my hex, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to have to use the swarm to do my, you know, murderous intent shenanigans with him. And I don't know how well he's going to stay in the swarm either, and that's also going to do 800 damage to me. Uh, it's always kind of a, an interesting thing with damage, Lilith, balancing when you use your swarms. Because you have to keep in mind, it does damage to the you. And sometimes that us. damage can be what we gets you killed, because you do 800 them. damage to yourself, and then the enemies are just shooting you. And it's just, it's it's awkward. <laughs> and I'm not always the best at managing that. I'm not a super great Lilith when it comes to, Excellent. well, really anything. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it could be a bit awkward here. Five. But I am going to try and use that, you know, new thing where you hex an enemy and then you just go to town on them. And we should be able to do that against the Grover and, you know, everyone else on the team with moderate success. Okay, I hex the Koga and he's already dead. Right, I need, I'm going to hex uh, Androxus there for a sec just so I can heal myself. And then we got one stack on the Grover there. But, um, yeah struggling a little bit here. Alright, there we go. We're ramping it up. We're ramping it up. We're ramping it up. And we got max fire right there for a second there. And we're gonna help whittle away at that Fernando shield. I'm gonna move the hex to you now because I need to heal myself again. Put down a lot of swarms there, you know? Alright, let's get a full charge swarm. Let's throw it back there. I missed my shot. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, let's jump away. I need to reset myself again. I'm just constantly taking so much damage. Heal myself. Uh, I'm so bad at hitting low with projectiles, too. You'd think I'd be better, because I play a lot of projectile characters, but, uh... I don't know, there's something weird I've always felt about them. Like, they come out really slowly, and then I miss, and then the projectile's also slow. It's just, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me and my brain when it comes to shooting these projectiles, but, uh, yeah. There we go, getting a few stacks up here. Let me do this. Alright, I have ult, so I'm just gonna go in. How did she kill me? What? I was ulting! I should be unkillable with 40% anti-healing in my ult. There's no way she killed me. Five shots does a thousand damage since when? Okay. Well, uh, let's try this again. One shot. Okay, is she cheating? 17 shots does 3,400 There's no way. There's no way. What? <laughs> How? How? <laughs> Alright, I'm hexing Androxus. We'll play a little bit more safely then. Apparently this Vivian is uh, either a cheater, or she's a roller player, or she's a god. Um, let me head up here. You're already dead. Alright, Koga's just ulting. We should be fine from that, though. Here's a swarm for you. I can still heal a little bit. That's the wonderful thing about Murderous Intent. You can heal just fine with this talent. Alright, she's ulting. I'm gonna try and deal with her if I can. Alright, hex on her. Throw this damage out. Ramping up that attack speed. There we go, I got her, because she was absolutely clueless. Apparently her aim is godlike, but she has no idea what's going on. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I need to hex somebody as well. Let's do that. Grover's still in the swarm. Ah, he left it. He's dead now. Let's just get another swarm down. The sad thing is, I don't think this works on a shield. Even though the shield can technically be affected by the swarm, I just don't think the talent applies, you know? So, yeah, it's a bit rough. Alright, let me pop this. I'm just gonna walk at this Koga. He should die here, yes. Let me throw this down. Got the hex on Vivian. We just ramp that up. I do notice, though, that I am really struggling to try and get that maximum fire rate. It's very low uptime on it. I don't know if I'm playing it improperly or what. It's just hard, you know? Right, let's get a swarm on Fernando here. Build that up. There's a hex on you. Uh, I'm just gonna pop up here for a moment. Got Corvus shooting at me. Is he still up here? Yeah, he is. There he is. I'll throw that on him. I actually didn't even kill him there. I just did tickle damage with the hex. Sati finished that because I was missing all my shots. Okay, brilliant. Getting that fire rate up, though. I hit every single shot there. I was on one ammo for the longest time, but we still managed to make that work. Let's go. We're actually still losing this match, by the way. We are a few points behind right now. What the heck? Enemy team is going crazy. <laughs> And this Vivian's just walking around absolutely clueless. It really makes me wonder how she killed me earlier. Like, how much damage does this character do? My god. Oh well. Here, take this. Oh, I'm actually kind of low. I'm going to jump away. I almost have an ultimate. I want to show you uh, some cool tech you can do with Lilith that I learned from Stealthy. I'm sure you guys probably know her, at least a few of you. The Eevee main, where I 1v1 and also plays Lilith. But yeah, check this out, this movement tech. You can just... <laughs> you can do this. It's such a low cooldown, and you go so high, you can be really evasive just pouncing around like that. Wasn't the best showcase, because, you know, the enemies weren't even really shooting at me, but you can use that for some pretty hefty evasion. And it can be pretty cool. Like, I've had to play against that a few times, and it is wild. <laughs> it is, like, almost impossible to track. 
It's just so fast, you know? All right, I got the hex on him. Build up that fire rate. Oh, I have to reload because I hit the shield, man. Ah, yeah, shields really make this talent annoying because you cannot build up that fire rate off of it. With Furia, you build up the fire rate by healing teammates, but you can't do that with Lily. Yikes. All right, here's the swarm. Two procs on the Corvus, and we kill him with that swarm. That's wonderful. Fernando's back. I'll get a swarm on him. Need to reload. Ah, ba 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 I think this Grover might also be a bot. I'm not sure. He's just kind of waffling about the center point. <laughs> and this match is still really close, so honestly, if he is a bot, it doesn't really mean anything. Let's get morale boost three. And I'm going to stack this up with some... Uh, I think I will do Chronos. Because the thing I can do with that is I can deploy more hexes. So if I kill an enemy and I need to replace the hex, I can do it faster. Alright, here's this. I'm just going to ult. I was on Corvus' head for a sec. Alright, let's throw a storm on him. I'm going to hex him. Uh, do the stomp. The ground pound actually did a bit of damage there, and then we can gracefully make our way up here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this Grover, but that... Oh, that Vivian does so much damage. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. I'm gonna buy Haven 1, just so I can stay alive a little bit better. They're still... They're winning this game. Bro, stop, please. You're making this talent look like a bad damage talent. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm the bad one here. Yeah, I'm definitely the bad one here. I'm just getting dunked on by this Koga. Put that heal back on you. I'll try and battle this Vivian a little bit. I think I can do it. There's a Hex. Got my life steal up. Let's break that down. Throwing damage underneath the shield, and there we go. We do manage to diff her. The scariest member of the enemy team. Oh, boy. Oop, you're just dead. All right, that's why we bought Kronos, we can, so we can do this. Miss my shot. Uh, let's hope that he's just being greedy here. Nope, he actually is able to get the kill there. I thought my self-sustain would be enough if I just kept whacking him, but no. Cauterize really hurts this. Yikes. Uh, I'll head back up here. I'll see what I can do. Vivian ult's coming out again, and I'm revealed. Which makes me think she's got a sensor drone on me. I don't know. We'll see. That Koga is definitely cleansing my mark. Alright. I'm gonna do this. Let's get the hex on Corvus. You can't run from me, sir. There we go. Get that fire rate up. I'm gonna throw this back on Grover now. There we go. Swarm out. Hex you. Ah, uh, you just died. That was a waste of a hex. Let's be careful then. Hex you just for the self sustain. And we're still behind. Oh my gosh. Hello, Koga. I really just don't want to fight Koga, since I know that he can just ruin my entire gimmick with the hex, right? So. I guess I'll try and just focus down the Vivian. Let's get a hex on her. And once that Fernando ult breaks, she should be decently killable. But shield's down as well. I'm going to chase that. I think I can kill her. There we go. Infinite ammo. I missed! Dude, why is she doing this much damage? This is insane. Does she normally do 3,000 damage in 16 shots? I don't remember how much damage she does per bullet. That feels immense. I don't know. Something shady is going on here. Let me throw this swarm here. I keep whiffing this Vivian, dude. Good thing she's just completely ignoring me, bro. She is oblivious. Alright, we can kill her. Let's hex the Grover. I'm just going to build up stacks on him. That's the sole point of your existence. Give me attack speed bonus. Right, let's pop this as well. Try and light up this Fernando. Force me to reload, though. Alright, shield's gone. Let's move the hex to you. Oh, you barely went anywhere. Alright, perfect. Let me hex Vivian now. I'm just going to throw all the damage I have at her. She is really fast, bro. Stomp. Ah, oh, it's just so much damage, man. Uh, we found Lilith's weakness for sure. Gosh, just a bunch of sustained DPS. Yeesh. Let's max out our Haven. We are four points away from uh, the enemies. Now they are one point ahead of us. Okay. I'm just not going to worry about that right now. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, we need a touch. Nah, we just can't win that. That was such a close game, man. Holy crap. <sighs> well, what do I think of Curse of the Court after that? I still think you're definitely going to see this a lot for the same niche that it had before, where it's the quote-unquote healing talent. It's the healing talent where you don't heal as much as Curse of the Court, but you have a lot of damage, 
you don't have to incur the damage debuff of Curse of the Cord, and if you're a high skill Lilith player, you can make that work as her solo healing talent and get more value for your team in the long run, especially in late game, right? I think that niche is still a thing. But as a damage talent, I think we can confidently say this is probably a little bit worse than uh, Maelstrom of Carnage at the end of the day. Because Maelstrom of Carnage lets you get in close with the swarm damage, and it's kind of like a bounce house play style. And the idea of hexing the enemies is just... I don't really feel like it works out as well. The Swarm being stationary and not being able to chase the targets like you can with Maelstrom of Carnage, it just, it just doesn't feel nearly as effective as a reliable tool for killing somebody. You know, the Deployed Swarm, which you use for healing, that's more for healing your teammates and doing, you know, some extra, like, passive damage to the tanks that just happen to walk through it. So, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced this is better than Maelstrom of Carnage, in that regard, but it is still a very interesting play style, and I think you can definitely play it and still get some value. I mean, we were able to get 11 kills there, 89,000 damage. Um, <laughs> we died a lot to the Sus Vivian, but uh, other than that, it's not like we were totally helpless there. It's not like I was playing a completely ineffective play style. I just don't think it's the meta in that specific regard. So, but yeah, I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a skill issue. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this because it's a very spicy new rework. One that certainly has potential. One that certainly will still see some playtime. And yeah, it's just an interesting character as a whole because she's got very weird talents. <laughs> so yeah, definitely leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all the YouTube stuff. And if you want to support me and keep me doing what I'm doing full time, uh, then please consider checking out the memberships program linked down below. You can join for a very low price per month and support me in the process. You can also donate through any number of other means. There's the donate link, there's the nexus, or you can buy crystals and support me in the process. So many ways to keep the lights on over here and keep me making Paladins videos for you. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.